Hey guys, so this is part two of my ayahuasca journey. Uh, where I'd ended off with part one was that I was going in for my second journey. Now to back the story up a little bit, I don't think I mentioned how much in my first journey it really did feel like my twin was there with me the whole time. It was like I could feel his presence, like he was just with me, we were one. And if you think about it, sharing the same soul, you are doing the healing on behalf of your twin as well. So I really felt like he was there. I would feel like we would like laugh together at certain things that were just kind of comical and funny, or I would help him through some pain and some healing, or he was there for me for some of the tough parts. Um, and yeah, in the end, as soon as I, you know, was starting to come down from it, I wrote him a letter and it was just such a heartfelt letter. Like, I still love that letter. Back to my little, and with all my letters that I talk about as my sort of journal. Um, but that one I did end up sending to him at one point. But it was, oh, it was beautiful because it just, it showed me the magnitude of just how unconditionally I love him no matter what, no matter how tough things had gotten. No matter what, I just love him. That's it. And I felt that pure, unconditional love for him that night. Um, but in between, we had gotten into a big, big fight. Like, I found out he was talking to another girl. And, oh, I flipped my lid. I just, I freaked right out. I told my new and just was like, did not want to speak to him. I never wanted to speak to him ever again. Of course, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> so I... I had basically thought things were ended off with him. Then I get literally invited to this ayahuasca ceremony. Like I'm not even asked to pay for it. And I'm like, what? I didn't even want to go. I, I was so scared. Like the first one was so tough. So I begrudgingly went there. I was in a bad mood. I had a chip on my shoulder. The drive there was even like crying. I didn't know what was wrong with me. But I went there anyways and I thought, do you know what, maybe this is good. I bet you that this is going to show me the truth and it'll help me to get over my twin. What happened was, as it got started, it started kind of nice. I was seeing some nice visions. I was like, oh good, this is, this is going to be a good, good one, right? But ayahuasca is known as a grandmother plant spirit and she's known to be stern. So she... She tells you like it is. And boy, oh boy, it felt like she just grabbed me and was like, oh yeah, you're hurting your twin? Guess what? You think you're hurting him? You're only hurting yourself. And it just thrust me into this scene of like being in him, feeling his pain, feeling what he was going through, feeling depression and thoughts of suicide and oh, like just the dark side of things, which is what I think my twin goes through. Oh my god. What I saw was just pure pain. And I remember just thinking like, there is a hell and it's here on earth. It's what a lot of people go through here on earth. And I never used to understand why people wanted to commit suicide. And I'll tell you that she showed me and I felt it and I, I've never felt it that strongly in my life and I thought wow I don't blame some people that want to kill themselves I get it now I get it it went on from there and it went into pain of the world and pain of my ancestral lineage I have native Indian in my blood um, I'm a quarter from my mum's side and oh the pain that I felt for things that my ancestors went through like it was going deep like deep into my bloodlines I felt and the pain I felt was so so difficult so immense I've given birth before to my son and had a very very tough labor compared to most people that I know and I would tell people I don't know what was worse <laughs> giving birth or going through what I went through that night I would purge you know you throw up and it's not like you're vomiting, like when you're sick to your stomach, it's you're li literally letting emotions like just, oh, it feels like it builds up, builds up, builds up. And then wham, it just comes out of you. I was purging so much. And at some points it felt like I was purging 
not only my own pain, but pain of like my ancestors and just the collective, you know, just it wasn't all my own is what I felt. But I got through it and by the end, it really made me come to terms with the fight I was having with my, my twin and made me understand him more yet again. Um, and just the healing, although it was so hard, I swore to myself that time, I was like, I will never, ever do this again. That was horrific. And I told everybody, never, 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 never again. And I did it again after that. It's one of these things where I do, I compare it to giving birth. It's, it's laborious, it's hard, it's painful, it hurts. But the gift from going through all that was worth it and you would do it again in a heartbeat. By the time you've gotten through it, and the way you feel afterwards, it's beautiful. Like, I get how much healing comes through ayahuasca. It's incredible. It's so, so incredible. It's beautiful, actually. I did. I felt lighter. I felt like I had dealt with so much so quickly. Like, it was so quick, and I get how you would. I don't know what you what else you could do to get through it so much that quickly. Like I, I would be going to a counselor for ages to deal with what I dealt with in those nights. So I did end up going back a few other times um, and doing it again. Uh, and the other times that I did it, it was just a lot lighter. Like I didn't have that same heaviness that I had those first two. Uh, I felt like just pure unconditional love filling my heart and the more that in my life it was like I was getting more positive and letting go the more it was showing itself in my ayahuasca journeys and the more it felt like ayahuasca was coming to me like you get it Talisha you're getting it I'm proud of you and almost like if if you did have that stern grandmother and she gave you a spanking and was like hey you know this is what you're doing get with it when you're doing the right thing, she also recognizes that as well. And it felt like I was like, okay, I'm making it through. So in general, you know, I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not going to come in everybody's path. And really, maybe, maybe it's not meant for you. And that's okay. That's okay too. But if it does come in your path or, you know, you're feeling a calling, maybe you want to go to Peru, go for it. It really is beautiful. It's amazing. It's something that I think humanity needs right now during the shift. During the shift, I think the more people that can try ayahuasca and see what it shows you, the better because it shows us what matters in life. It, it's not what we think. We are our souls. We are not this human body that we're in. We're not the clothes we wear, we're not our makeup, our car, our house. It's so much more than that and it helped me to connect why the Twin Flame journey is what it is and why it's the most important thing you can do. So yeah, I hope that helped shed a little more insight for you guys in case you've been interested in ayahuasca as a Twin Flame or just even if you're not. Um, I hope it gave you a little bit of insight. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!